In the previous video, we have learned how to deploy multiple web pages with Nginx proxy on Docker rootless. So in this video, I will show you how to install multiple, multiple WordPress websites. So let's go back to our Docker directory. And I propose you to create a WordPress directory. And let's go there and let's check what's inside. To install WordPress, the very quick the fastest way we are going to be using this Everdramos Docker WordPress. So we're going to clone. In this case, I do it like this because if I copy here, it includes an enter. And since I'm showing you step by step, I don't want it to execute it right away. Control A. So I type git clone space and then Control A to go Control E to go to the end. And depending on how you want your WordPress project to to be called type a, a name anything you want here the name of the folder of your project by the way I am working with Vulture so you can follow this practice by by clicking on my affiliate link so you can follow with free credit and you can follow this whole practice for free also in other videos I have explained how to add domains free domains to to practice so like I said, uh, just to get back, I'm going to use for, for this WordPress, I'm going to use this domain, WebPatriarch, and I'm going to specify my IP address. Actually, does anybody know how to do this with Laravel Livewire? Live Please let me know in the comments if you know how to, to make this with Livewire, that you can edit and, and update right here. So I'm going to edit. I wish I know how to do this with Laravel like wire. So this is how you add your domain and this is how you add your www domain. All right. So getting back to this git clone and the repo of Everdramos and I wanted to to save it in this directory that has the name of the project webpatriarch. So it's done ls yes I I changed directory Let's check what's inside. So we have here, uh, like in the previous video, the .mva the environment file and the docker compose. So we need to edit these files. So first of all, we need to, to copy this file like this. Copy and file and I wanted to name it like this. And then I want to edit it. So hit enter. So change accordingly. So in order to search and replace new site, what I'm going to do is type escape. I'm using Vim. So column, this uh, percentage, string, full slash. New site, this is the text I want to, to change and change it for my web project name, web patriarch. And yeah. I hit enter and yes, it has changed new site for my web project in all occurrences. Cool. So I go back with Control B. Okay. Since we are using the, the Nginx proxy, remember that we decided the name of our network. So in this case, it is not web proxy, but proxy. Okay. MayaDB, latest, all right. Set up a secure password for MySQL root. So guys, never mess with that. Take the passwords always seriously. So put everything you need, all right. Super password. Database name, it, it's up to you. I'm gonna change it to WebPatriarch and WebPatriarch to user. And again, guys, never mess with your passwords. Take it seriously. I always change the the passwords. Whenever you copy passwords like that, always change something and take a note of your passwords. So I hit colon and write to save it. Meanwhile, site image, WordPress, latest version, data site, it's all right, looks good to me. Also important, your domains. In my case, I have both www and without w, with patriarch. So it's fine. So I will register both of them. Web patriarch escape zero i for insert. 
maybe replace it here yeah escape colon right and here specify your e email address so that let's encrypt can send you notifications all right and that's pretty much it so write and quit and that's pretty much it so now we run docker compose up and d it is pulling all the required images in this case mariadb wordpress is being pulled all right it's finished so let's uh, wait some seconds before the let's encrypt certificates take effect so let's visit our page and now it's working our very first wordpress website in docker rootless with nginx proxy so i'm going to install it so i install my wordpress don't forget your email click on that now access your wordpress yeah so there you go you have your first wordpress working all right so now you may be wondering how do i install multiple wordpress websites so for a second web wordpress let's do the same just go one directory up and here clone again uh, the repo of ever ramos so i go again to to ever ramos i clone it and i type git clone the repo i paste it and in this case another project in this case it's going to be custom bachelor so i check what's inside i change directory custom bachelor i check what's inside so i'm going to create a new dot m file okay by copying it copying it and I'm going to edit it. Since I'm using Vim, I'm going to replace all the occurrences of new site with this replacement. Uh, I hit colon, percentage, string, forward slash, forward slash. Please find me a new site and replace it with a custom bachelor. All right, hit enter and everything is replaced. So I hit control B to get back to the bottom remember we are using proxy as name or whichever you have chosen while installing the nginx web proxy in the first videos in previous video i hit escape and dollar sign to go to the last i and please paste a very secure password don't take it for granted passwords are always important i mean robust passwords are always important custom bachelor db i'm going to copy this custom bachelor db user and again a super password please now this is not a super password but this one is super good yeah escape colon right to save the changes meanwhile everything looks good on me and your domain guys you should have another domain just like i told you in Freenom you can get your domain for free and register it like, like this on Volcha. So copy it here, your domain. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to set up your email here so that Let's Encrypt will be able to notify you, to send you notifications. Escape, colon, write and quit. Finally, we run the the containers with docker compose up dash d uh, in this case it's faster because the images are already been had already been pulled so docker rootless ps and there we go we got there our custom bachelor new containers so wait for a few seconds before the new let's encrypt ssl certificates take effect and yes, we got another WordPress in the same virtual private server in Volcha by using Nginx proxy on Docker rootless. So let's install it. So click on your, so type your email and click on install. Yes, access, remember me. And yes, it is fully working. So let's, so let's uh, update the plugins to check if it's working, all the permissions, yes. There is no problems with permissions. So far, we have installed multiple WordPress websites. Here we have one, two WordPress. So it's already more than one. Also, multiple web simple 
web pages. This is one, two, it's more than one. Inside a Vulture VPS server. So remember, if you want to follow along, please uh, click on my referral link so you can create your account with free credit. So you can follow uh, this practice for free. And in previous videos, I have explained how to get domains for free so you can practice without having to spend any penny. Hopefully in following videos I will show you how to, how to deploy Laravel applications in this same server. So now you, you will have a deep knowledge on deployment multiple web applications with virtual private servers with Vulture.